the more observant of you may have seen this kind of thing hanging down like a little miniature cornetto from a silver birch or if you've been in deciduous woodland the same kind of thing on hazel it's done by a beetle and in this video I'm going to show you two very similar types of signs like this that give away the presence of these beetles this one is the smaller species of the two you could say it's the lesser of two weevils Well, here's the first bit of damage to the leaf that indicates that the first of our species is present on a site. And this is done by the weevil Deparaus betulae, which is a common weevil, especially here at Sherwood Forest, but in other woodlands locally. You can also find this in suburban areas and parks, even some gardens, it undoubtedly occurs. It prefers silver birch, but it's often in greater numbers on hazel. So if you look on hazel, especially where hazel has been coppiced, you'll often find like little cornettos hanging in such a manner. This one is sort of work in progress. This has only just been done. The female beetles come along and it's cut through the leaf and almost cut completely through the midrib, but it hasn't. That's why this bit of leaf dangles the way it does quite loosely. An egg is laid on the leaf, and as the leaf dies, it curls round. It eventually ends up like that, in a complete, tight cone. Inside there is the egg, which then hatches. The larva feeds on the contents within, and the whole process resumes next spring once the larva emerges as a beetle. Deparaus betulae is common and widespread. I say it's very, very common in the Sherwood Forest area, but you'll find it in almost any woodland, certainly in Nottinghamshire and most southern counties. It's a widespread species. Occasionally you will see it in weevil fashion, so sat on the leaf, but also in weevil fashion, as soon as you approach them, they drop off, never to be seen again. It's the smallest black beetle, Deparaus spetulae, and say widespread, nowhere near as pretty as our next species. I've now moved to Budby in search of our second of two weevils. And here it is, or at least here's the work of Atelibus nitens, our second species of weevil. Atelibus nitens, much more nice and colourful to look at than Deparaus spetulae. And it creates similar constructions in which to lay its egg. We'll get you a bit closer and then you can see what this beetle does. It's quite remarkable. And here is the damage, the obvious damage that is done on oak by Telebus nitens. It's very conspicuous. If you see these on anywhere, it's usually on heathland or dry sandy soil. This is quite a common species in the Sherwood Forest area. But even if you don't see the adult beetle itself, you can safely identify its presence on any site just by these egg cases. In the same manner, as Deparaus betulae cuts across the leaf, but almost, though not quite, severing the midrib, the female then lays a single round pale yellow egg. She then proceeds to curl the leaf fragment round, forms quite a tight ball. And the developing larva lives in that little ball. It's quite a clever adaption that they've evolved over time. 
the top of this particular one almost looks like a little Christmas tree with baubles at the end of each branch and the female has gone quite to town on this one she's obviously liked this particular young oak she's laid probably about nine or ten eggs mostly at the top on the younger growth scrub oak or saplings like this are typically favoured they will occasionally use the lower branches of larger oaks but not so much mature trees though they will occasionally use those so here's another easy to spot sign of a species on a site 